Hello and welcome, people of the internet. My name is Jade Dragon Seven, and welcome to today's episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword. In the previous episode, we took down the um, and the Lady of Sansi, and we went through the Skipper's Resort. Today's episode, we're gonna be seeing where this sea chart takes us. Set sail, and see how everything turns out. I guess. You can see there's a lot of stuff that uh, our, the map that we had did not contain. So, first place we'll be checking out is all the way at the end of the sand sea. The shipyard. Okay. Because of course we're back in the sand sea, the music is a bit different this time if I'm not mistaken. And I believe once you travel over to that area of the sand sea, some enemies actually start popping up. At least when the time shift stone is nearby. Yes, as you can see, there's some uh, some more obstacles outside of all these rocks. Yep, great work, me. All right, so it looks like we have to travel around a bit. gonna speed by all those guys because it's more enemies than I'd like to deal with and while we obviously do have an offense it's not exactly the quickest offense okay then so again for take it later on I'll go to that and let's hop out of here We are at the shipyard. Again, yeah, yet another area it seems very interesting. This area does have a lot of fun, sort of like mini dungeons. And the dungeon itself that we go through at the end of this area is just really fun, so it's something to be excited about. Okay, well. Well, sounds like fun. So yeah, we're doing some uh, Donkey Kong Country stuff here. The minecarts. Boy. What fun. Okay, honestly, the minecart areas in DKC are actually really fun. It's just that they're usually really difficult. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. That, that's a thing. But, um, yeah, you know, besides the point, I guess. Okay, just making sure everything's going well. So right here, we actually have a couple of Zolfos we could fight, and you know what? Screw it, I'll go for it. I shouldn't really fight them on the edge like that, because I want to actually get the thing that they drop. And I am not doing well right now. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna fight. And god damn it, V, if the heart beeping wasn't already enough, you have to make it worse. Well, there's always a chair. And I really don't care, buddy. I'm just gonna sit here. What? Oh. So we can't even talk to him, we can just sit on his chair. Yeah, it's good. I'll try fighting these guys one more time, even though it's gonna probably not work out. So you kind of have to wait for them to attack, really. Okay then. Lose your tail? Of course, I wouldn't like to try to get one more. There's maybe a couple extra rupees. Man, okay. Okay, 
And I uh, mean, really messed up right now with my shield. Okay, what do you got for me? Okay. Here we go. Finally, actually blocked it properly. And whatever, that's not a good deal. Okay then. So that was a waste of time, but I mean, oh crap. At least we got something from it, I guess. Let's go down sitting one more time. Let's heart back. Okay, let's just go for it then. All right. So the leaning is basically for when there's uh, split tracks that we have to jump between. Even the music feels like Donkey Kong Country. Well, I mean, not quite Donkey Kong Country. It has a very jungle feel, which obviously is a very Donkey Kong thing. But we also have the balance ourselves. I kind of forgot about that, actually. It's pretty simple, but, you know. I would say the way this works, especially with this being a 3D game, very different from DKC, but still. Whenever, whenever I see minecarts in a game, and I know this is, I know it's not exclusive to Donkey Kong, but I can't help but think of Donkey Kong Country because that has like the most iconic minecart levels. Okay, this so it's one minecart trip down. I believe there's two or three of them in total. So I'm really bad with the bug net. <laughs> And we got the claw shots just in case. Of course, we're getting a lot of use out of them in uh, this area, so. Wait, didn't we just come from here? Why do I feel like we just came from here? No, we came from back there, right? Yeah, so, okay. I guess this is it where we go next. I, it better be. To the construction bay. I don't think that's where we just were. Okay then. So. I believe we're going here. Oh, wait, maybe not quite actually. No, oh, wait, hold up. Oh, okay, it's actually it's different. Okay, yeah. So, leaning is returning and uh, choosing your direction, obviously. Gotta make sure you don't die, because, you know, that's not fun. Although, realistically speaking, why are there even those... You know what, actually... I suppose they could have uh, formally left to other areas and they just kind of busted and they never got fixed. I guess that's a theory that could work. Hopefully there wasn't really any difference between those two tracks or I'm glad to see my spot. Looks like they did. They submerged. So let's have a big turn here. So all of this area is kind of messing around the minecarts. This is a kind of a very strange addition, really. I mean from my memory they don't come back at all later in the game, it just kind of happens. So it's you know, fair enough. It's a little strange I guess. Hey, though. So that takes us over here. Got some extra rupees. Multiple chairs to sit on. And whatever is in here, I guess. Is this what I think it is? Well then, so I don't have any choice to do but go down right now. I don't know about you guys, but I think this area reminds me of something that we saw earlier in Lanero. 
I don't know. I mean, I'm I can be pretty delusional sometimes, but I feel like this looks pretty familiar. You know? If we just blow on that. Hmm. Wow. What is that? Oh my God! It's Maldarak. What? Yeah. So for whatever reason, they have you refight Maldarak here. I I don't really understand why, but you do it, and I guess that's what matters. So yeah. Here we are, you fighting Maldarak. <laughs> it's not really that bad. I mean, Maldarak is a pretty fun boss. Uh, it's just strange, I guess. Hmm. So I suppose Maldarak's actually really a species. I guess in a way, these are probably like the mothers to all those small scorpions you see. If I'm not mistaken, this is really the only other time in the game that you have to fight Maldarak. Skyward Sword, in case you, um, something we see actually later, that there is a way you can actually refight the bosses and actually get rewards from it. It does not until a bit later in the game, and again, that's not mandatory, it's just something you can do. Okay, now, stabby stabby. Wrong item. Again, I, I, I mean, I would compliment this boss for its use of the Gust Bellows and just how fun it is, but I, I kind of like the design too, but... I kind of did all that already. I mean, I suppose I'm no stranger to repeating things again and again, but it just doesn't really seem necessary for this boss. I, I kind of went over it enough the first time we fought it. You know, though, I just thought of something about the Gust Bellows that's actually kind of confusing me now that I think about it. When you blow the dust away, where does it go? Because when you think about it, it's like a normal like blower like that, that, that sounds really weird, you know what I mean? You'd think it would just get transferred to a different spot, right? But that's not really the case. When you look at, say, the side quest where we like clean the lady's house, the dust was just gone. So where does the dust go? Because supposedly it blows dust away, but that couldn't be right if it just vanishes unless it blows it away into another dimension that is just filled with dust. Which, I mean... I guess it's a fantasy game, so that's entirely possible. But, um, it just seems really weird. I know I shouldn't be questioning this, but I just kind of thought of that. And now I'm, like, really confused. So, basically... We'll go back and talk to the skipper. So, heading to Pirate Stronghold. Oh, sorry, Just something. Alrighty then, we don't really have much of a choice, but um, yeah. Okay, it's not too far away. I think I kind of know where I'm going here. Okay, I believe we're just heading straight up there, right? Yeah. So, looks like this episode may end up being a bit long. I think the um, shipyard was pretty short, but I kind of remember the pirate stronghold being a little bit longer. And I don't really want to split this into two episodes, so... Yeah. So this area isn't actually that long. It shouldn't be that bad, honestly. But, you know. Well... Hmm. I suppose there's save points in here I could split it up, but, you know. Oh, nice. One thing to think about, actually, now that he mentions it, he seems to be the only character that really acknowledges the time shift students outside of, obviously, Austin and Fee. So I'm curious how he knows about them. You know what? 
as you can probably guess, there will be some um, time shift on the sand ship, which is our next dungeon. Like the next full dungeon we're going to with the um, flame. Um, I wonder if his crew actually worked with time shift stones at some point. And if so, how would they have known that they would have been necessary for the area's survival? I don't remember any of those questions really being answered in the actual um, area, so... Just something to ponder, I guess. There really is a lot to think about in this area. Again, I like. I really do like, you know. Kind of makes you think about life, the universe, and everything. Um, okay, I have to kind of remember where to go here, actually. Um, because clearly, that's not it. Now then. Because, yeah... We really seem like we can actually run through the teeth here. You can probably imagine. Die, you stupid keys. Particularly because you're electric keys. So obviously, you know, the electric variants of enemies can go die in a, in a fire. In an electrical fire. Oh, God. My jokes are so painful. But. Hey, you know what? Um, currently 42 people are subscribed for these terrible jokes and two news maybe I'll have an extra subscriber or two by the time this is uploaded I, I'd appreciate it um, who the hell knows and seriously what why am I such an idiot because I, I can't remember where to go here at all maybe we'll click ask skipper if he knows anything Okay, what I'm gonna say. So basically, I'm just a moron. I have a feeling there's probably a switch you have to like hit or something. Oh, we enter through the side entrance. Yeah. Okay. That. Uh, okay. Fair enough. See, you're, you're playing me like that game. Playing me like a fiddle. Not really. Okay, so you probably tell. Yeah, there, there you go, Fee. Yep. Thank you for taking away all of my commentary. And the funny thing is how obvious that is now the game points that out, but how much trouble I had fighting the frickin' door to get in here. Obviously, the game's not just gonna explain that. Mm, so, real quick. Try to remember this place a little bit. See if this will jog my mem memory at all. Uh, actually, it looks like there's an entrance or a door there. Let us travel through doors. How magical. Okay, then we have more of this office. I'm just gonna skip these guys. I wasted enough time at the beginning of this video fighting them. And should just be able to run through the rest of this, no problem. Probably could have made it anyway, but you know, I figured the rest would help. So, surprisingly, no little scorpions here. I'm looking, man. I'm looking, Fee. Subject, time shift, orb. Okay. So, yeah, obviously, there's a very similar concept of play here, but the execution is still very different. And it, again, is really, really interesting. I, with the Nehru, they always find ways to mix up the, con the concept of the time shift stones. And it's, again, one of the things that really makes me love this area that. It never really feels quite the same. There's always something. There's always something new. That you know, there's just there's so many things you could do with this concept, and they did everything that they could have done. Which again, it makes Lanayru seriously a contender for the best area in the series, in my opinion. Um, okay, get rid of the time just doing to grab this. Yeah, if you can already tell, all those little sort of bolts that are on 
there's like um areas that could contain a door there's all electricity if there's a time system near them so new careful at entering them okay wait hold up two ancient flowers I'm pretty sure I need the two ancient flowers for something in the bazaar so this is good I approve of this. Now, where can I find some bird feathers? That is my only question. Anyway, there's something else I just saw down here. I'm just trying to remember everything that's here. Now, I believe I want to head up here first off. And then... Okay. Oh, God. I think it's here. I'm just going to take you travel in the order these all appear in. Yeah, okay. Easy enough, if you're not a freaking dipshit, which I usually am, but that's besides the point. Um, okay, but the cage is still here regardless, so... Let's see what happens. Uh, oh, okay. Easy enough. At this point, time just doing puzzles aren't really that complicated. It's just really fun, you know? Now, this mechanic is one thing above all else. It is fun. And I'm not going to waste time with the time shift on this one. Because I figure a wall's going to pop up and then more walls and I'm just going to get lost. And this is probably just easier. And an evil crystal. I believe we needed this for something as well. I actually think we may need that for the last um, God of Shield upgrade. Although there is another type of shield we actually get you can get later on, so I'll probably only upgrade it once if I upgrade it at all. I mean, if we get all the materials required by the end of the Sansi, I'm assuming I will upgrade it, but admittedly, that is kind of a what if, so, you know, who knows. Because I sure as hell don't. <laughs> so this, okay, child back there. Oh god. Let's just take one out of the time. Or, okay, if two is still easier than three. <laughs> and I can probably just walk past that last one. Oh, dear God, not those enemies that I hate with a burning passion. Oh, boy. I have to deal with two of them and some Deku Babas. Oh, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. What does this do? Okay. Well then, oh, okay. Actually, wait. Okay, I'm just gonna run in and do that. I have no remorse. All right, so we're gonna pull this back here. No, don't step on the switch, Link. You're wasting my time and the viewer's time, which is really more valuable because I'm sure someone watching this video is going to do something with their lives. Definitely not me. Okay. And, alright, there we go. I can probably just run past everyone now. Yeah, okay. It's just running past everyone. Um, real quick. Okay. I feel like there's going to be a bit more to this room than... Let me see right now. I'm trying to kind of remember what happens here, because this currently is a bit, uh, puzzling. Okay, well, if there's something I don't like, it's two B-Mooses. Oh, God. Okay, well, now there's only one. And please drop hearts, please drop hearts, please drop hearts. I know I have potions, but I don't want to use them. I'm mean, gonna guess I could probably head back to the sky before, or to this area. 
Oh, okay, okay. No! Damn it! That makes me- that kind of pisses me off. I just wasted a potion and a fairy at the same time. I- I, I hate that. I, that's one thing that really grinds my gears in the series. Whenever there's like a fairy and it's just- You're trying to like, free up a spot in a potion so you can actually take the fairy and then it just uses itself. It's just, it's just one of those things, it really grinds my gears, it really, you know, it, it does things in my psyche that are not good, I guess. Um, so, let me think here. I'm trying to think about how I can make this work. Hmm, anything up here? By chance? I got- oh, you know what? I think I know what it is. Oh, wait, this makes sense. Okay. So... I think that'd be close enough to the switch. Yeah, okay, very nice. So that unlocks that gate so you can bring the time shift to- or time shift orb in here. I gotta be careful here. I don't want to fight two of these at once. Fighting one of them at a time is annoying enough, but... Damn it all. Okay, that was not too bad actually. There we go, okay, got them both in one cycle. So, this takes us back, I believe this is actually back to the main room. So we can put that time shift orb down. And okay, that actually opens up the main part of the stronghold. That's cool. Okay, real quick, I actually have to make a cut real quick, but um, I will meet you guys back in this area. Once, oh, is that, is that it? Takes me. Mm. Scratch the whole cup thing. No, you know what? Maybe not. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about the cut. So I'm gonna do something real quick. Um, yeah, so I know this video is probably gonna go pretty long, but uh, I don't believe there's too much left in this area, so. Finish everything quickly, and obviously I'm not using the gust spells for anything. I'm just looking to see if there's anything to get a claw shot on. So I imagine that's going to be happening any minute now. And I should have made so much. Mm. You know what? I believe you're actually supposed to claw shot up there. So Hold up. just one minute, if we can walk over here. I'll still be doing that next episode. I want to see if there's anything in Claw Shot 2 real quick, because I could have sworn it there. Hmm. I remember being able to Claw Shot to some things here, but maybe not. Uh, 
Yep, that, that seems about right. Well, then I guess that's about it for this episode. So yeah, it seems like we're done here. So, I hope you all found some form of enjoyment out of this episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. If you did, maybe leave a like and maybe even consider subscribing so you can see the future episodes of the series. Uh, yeah, I hope to see you all in the future. Bye.